Well, the goods have arrived. Uh, got home. It was raining. Luckily, not too long. Hopefully, I don't get any sort of flash rust on there. But the initial impression of this, I got the off-road upgrade here. And this thing is beefy. I mean, just this piece alone probably weighs 75 pounds. Uh, I can't wait to start working on it this weekend. Going to be walking you guys through on an OBS Ford. I'll flash that here in a second how to do the install and uh, any kind of special things you got to do I'm going to be see how it goes gonna have to have that turned up pretty good might angle the edges a little bit on it but you guys will be there with me every step of the way so kind of windy and get pretty dark out here but here's the OBS Ford's gonna be getting installed on I've been hassled here lately on the bumper height, so I had to do something to get it within legal limits. But you'll see more of the truck throughout the video. All right, so I got I got kind of excited here and uh, decided to do an unboxing. I haven't even looked at anything yet, but uh, initial impression is it's packaged pretty nicely. They got this foam stuff in here. I mean, UPS kind of throws their boxes around and everything. You got some paperwork down in here. Hopefully I got a sticker. Ooh, it's kind of chewed up. But I, don't, I don't blame the company for it. It's more a shipping company. This box was pretty damaged. It doesn't they don't really care to take care of stuff like it's their own. But we got all sorts of brackets in here. Those are the sides to the bumper. Now, I ended up getting the pre-runner style with the 2.5 inch bar on there. Oh, that's pretty beefy too. Tell you what, these guys do not skimp out on quality. Uh, and I have I have a buddy with one of these says it goes together pretty smooth. But So I've got the bull bar with the two, two kickers that sit on there. Um, and see how it looks on there. Hopefully I like it. I mean, I may end up leaving the bull bar or one of the side kickers off of it. We'll see how it looks when I get everything mocked up, but I'm going to get this stuff out of the box and see what we got. All right. I got everything out of the package. Look through the instructions a little bit here. Um, pretty detailed on, you know, all the stuff you got to do a couple pages back here and all the, the brackets and everything got to do for the pre-runner style bull bar there where you're supposed to tack and everything to get everything lined up so what we have in the box here so i got the off-road package like i was saying got the winch mount right there not sure what them brackets are yet i'm assuming them are reinforcements uh no these are the frame mounts and then uh got the tow hook here sorry about that and both side caps and end caps and that pretty much sums up everything that's in here looks pretty straightforward um right away it looks like i'm gonna have to miter cut these to get them to sit flush but that's that's not a big deal gonna have to notch these out would have been nice if it was done but not not gonna bash the company this this looks like quality material they definitely didn't skimp plus all the cnc work is clean um no chunks of metal left over or nothing i'm not seeing see but plasma tape uh well uh next next video will be getting the mounts on there and getting the center section mounted up stay tuned all right to start the process you got to remove your old bumper make sure everything's nice and square up front and install these l looking brackets on either side I, I left them a little loose here that way i can adjust it further all right, ran into a little complication. Um, somebody had welded the old old bumper on here before me, and they had covered up the hole, so I had to drill out them third bolt holes there. I got everything pretty squared up there. Next step is to get the centerpiece on and leveled out. All right, I got the center section. I marked the center here and the center on the truck and adjusted accordingly. Right now I've only got the single bolts holding it on here, made it perpendicular to the ground. I haven't welded on the brackets for this yet, I'm going to wait until I get everything together in case I have to make any minute adjustments. Alright, so after the center section, I put the uh, right hand side end on here, I used a magnetic triangle to keep the top flush, 
I do have a bit of a gap down at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna try and bend it out a little bit before I weld it and then make everything smooth when I weld it. Uh, like, at, grind it after I weld everything. But I'm gonna do the same on the other side and then get the end caps on here. All right, I got full side caps on here. I just got a couple tacks here and there to hold everything together. Uh, and then I got the end caps welded on. Pretty much all self-explanatory fits together like a Lego puzzle. Um, then you just gotta get your angles right. I've been using these uh, magnetic squares to keep the top level. And uh, next step, I'm gonna get some more tacks thrown on it, take it off, get the winch mount welded on here, and work on the recessed lighting. All right, a little update on that. Completely crossed my mind, I gotta put the free runner bars on there, so I'm gonna get tacked up a little bit more, make sure it doesn't fall apart, it shouldn't, but just in case, and get the bar mocked up on there at the angle I prefer and go from there. All right, so I got the center section of the bowl bar put on here. Um, I pretty much just had to cut a 45 on here, ignore the ugly tacks there, uh, but I kept the same perpendicular to the top trim piece there. Um, I was going to uh, trim it down a little bit more so it didn't come past, but I decided I didn't want to cut it again. So I'm going to weld it in and kind of just flush it in with grinding the weld out. Uh, but now I'm working on the side kickers for it. Alright, I've got my buddy putting the angle on the other side kicker here. Uh, while he's doing that, I welded these tow hooks on here. I used two squares to keep it perpendicular with the bumper there. Um, I did end up putting a chamfer on the edge. It's kind of hard to see so I can get more weld inside. You can kind of see it there right from the top. Just a little bit. Um, and so I measured from here in. I put them at three inches, would put me about right behind this would be the bracket on both sides here. So pretty much in line with the with the straight line of the bracket. So I got the strongest piece right there, right to the frame rail. But, uh, so next comes the side kicker here that we're still working on getting the ankles right on. All right, I got the side pieces welded on here. Kind of did the best I could with a grinder. Kind of upset that these didn't come pre-cut for the angles. I mean, with a bandsaw, it wouldn't take long at all. Probably took me an hour and a half to get all the angles grinded right, and the gap still suck. But I'm gonna fill it in with weld and go from there. But all, all I did was made sure that the center one was the right distance from the bumper, and at the angle I wanted. I tried to stay perpendicular to the to the face, like I said before, and then these ones mounted on the same spot, both sides. But I'm getting ready to tack the inner mounts here. I, I left these loose, and I haven't welded them. Uh, once once I weld them, I'll pull the bumper off, get the winch mount welded in, and the light holes. All right, got the bumper set on the ground here. Went ahead and tacked them on once the bumper was straight and everything. Uh, got the winch mount in here. All I did was center it up with the other one. There's holes down here you can go off of, measure off each one. And tack there, tack there. And right now I'm working on the pod mounts. Now in the instructions, that's how it states to mount them. Uh, I personally feel more comfortable with the light sitting on the mount than hanging on the mount uh, so may not be the way to do it but this is how I'm doing it uh, I've got some magnetic triangles there to hold the angle right on this piece space it away from everything fine I got a little bit more adjustment to do on this one and after you do that use your square to keep your trim piece perpendicular to that and perpendicular to the bumper itself and weld it in. Uh, I'll give an update once I get them all welded in. It's pretty easy. Um, if I was to mount them like the instructions say, it just doesn't really, the angles match going this way. So that's how I'm doing it. 
may not be right, but it's whatever works. All right, so I got the light bar mount mounted in here and figured I'd show you what I'm doing to get that all squared up. Got the magnet on the bumper and the magnet on the mount here. Keep the same amount of gap all the way around. I went a little larger on the top to accommodate for maybe a taller light. Make sure I get the most space available there. But, all right, I'll, I'll give an update. I, I gotta weld everything together yet. It's just tacked. Um, I'm at a buddy's house with heat right now, so I'm just gonna bring it home. That way I can finish it off, grind all the welds down and whatnot. All right, I'm back at the garage. Well, my garage. Uh, my buddy was helping me use it so I could put it on my truck, help mock stuff up. Uh, ran out of wire, so waiting on some reinforcements to bring me some. But you're going to want to make sure that you uh, weld all of these points where they bent it. And there's a few on the mounts. I, uh, I didn't weld all the way across on the witch mount, but I did go inside and out. I put a three inch bead, three inch bead. I'm gonna weld on both sides of the mounts just to help reinforce it. I didn't go too crazy on the welds for the light mounts just because they're non-structural, but I'll update once I get some more weld. I haven't started on the other side yet. All right, time for another update here. I got everything welded up and ground in. Um, I decided to not leave just bare welds. I wanted to, uh, kind of make it look like it's flowing together the only thing I left bare welds on is the tow hooks I did a triple pass on them and then I uh, just worked in that edge I still have a little bit of work to do right there but right now I decided I want to uh, put a piece of metal right there to enclose it I've got one tacked up over there uh, that way when you look inside the holes it looks completely closed um, that's pretty much all I got to do, then clean it up to uh, powder coat it. All right, got it hung up for the powder coat. Got to wipe everything down and whatnot. Uh, like I said, I left the double welds there. Excuse the uh, chicken chicken poop welds there. It'll hold together, that's fine. Then I worked all that in. Um, I'm actually hanging it from the light holes, that way it's on the inside. I, I'm hoping to tilt it a little bit more right about there but we'll see how she lays out I'm just doing a gloss black on it I wish I could have sandblasted the whole thing but I just used a light grit flap wheel and uh, a wire wheel so yeah that's about all the updates I got the next one will be it coated so just got it out of the oven turned out pretty good first time using the uh, new oven so Next video will be it on the truck. Well, I got the bumper installed. It turned out great. Love the way it looks. Definitely looks a lot more finished. The powder coat ended up all right. Um, it's a little orange peely. Hard to tell. Um, I ended up, I, I used propane in my big heater and I ran out of propane so it got a little cool down cycle before I uh, was able to get more propane on there and I think that mess, messed with it a little bit. It'll be alright, I've, I've heard people say you can buff it so I'll probably try to buff it but yeah there it is, I gotta get some lights in it and I got some red clevises for the hooks.